Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we'll see how to create this effect right here. So whenever we refresh our page, it goes to the target number by counting up. So this is what we are going to design in this video and we'll be using a library called Odometer. So let's get started. Just Google for Odometer JS and you'll get this link. I'll also leave the link in the description. So just click on the link and here we can see all the examples that it has. So let's go to the bottom and here we can see a guide of how to use it. So first of all, we have to add the JS and the theme files to our page and then we have to link them on our page. And whenever we want to have the effect, we just have to update the inner element to the number so that is all we need to do so let's click on JS and we'll just copy this from here and we'll go to VS code and here I have my project opened so I will create a new file called odometer.js and we'll paste it over here and save it and then we'll go back to our page now we'll click on this theme file and uh, here we have different theme files so we'll just click on the default one and we'll copy this CSS from here and uh, in our VS code we'll create a new file odometer.css and we'll paste our CSS over here alright so that's it with our odometer CSS and odometer JS now we can just close this now we'll create our index.html file and uh, we'll get started with the markup. And first of all we will link our uh, odometer.css so we'll type link odometer.css and we'll also create a style.css file so we'll type style.css and uh, we will link our style.css file as well all right now here we will have an h2 and uh, we will type subscribers and we'll open this with live server now we'll create a division with a class of subs odometer you can name this class anything you like so we'll just type some random number over here and we'll also link our odometer.js file so script src odometer.js all right now let's go to our css and uh, apply some styling so first of all we will select everything and we'll type margin 0 padding 0 and box sizing to border box now we'll apply some styling to the body and we will type height of 100 viewport height display of flex align items to the center justify content to the center flex direction of column we'll also give a font family of railway thin and sans serif and background color of light gray now we'll style the subs odometer so we'll type subs odometer and we'll give it a font size of 48 pixels background color of red color of the text to white font weight to bold and border radius of 8 pixels we'll give a min width of 300 pixels and text align to the center padding of 8 pixels and letter spacing of 4 pixels and we don't have our font weight ball being applied over here so I think it's because we have selected railway thin over here so here we will type font family of railway and sans serif alright now we'll style the h2 and we'll type font size of 32 pixels text transform to uppercase letter spacing to 8 pixels and margin of 24 pixels 
all right so that's it with the styling so let's go back to our index.html and uh, we'll create a script tag over here all right now what we'll do is uh, we'll create a constant and store the subs odometer so we'll type const subs odometer equals document dot query selector and we'll type dot subs odometer and here first of all we have to initialize the odometer so here we will type const odometer equals new odometer and we are going to have an object inside here and we will type el and this should be the element that is acting as the odometer so we will type subs odometer over here now there are two ways to do the animation you can change the inner html of the subs odometer or you can call a method called update for odometer so first of all we will type odometer dot update and we will type some number over here 10864 and there we can see the animation and we'll just comment this out and uh, we'll also try the other one so subs odometer dot inner html and uh, we'll set that equal to 10684 and there we have our animation now we can also have different properties for this odometer so if we type animation and uh, and we'll set it to count we can see we have a different animation and uh, we can also change uh, the duration so we type duration to 100 milliseconds we can see it completes in 100 milliseconds and if we have say 10,000 So, so it takes 10,000 milliseconds to complete. So those are some different options that you can have for the odometer. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.